What is there when there is nothing? The void, a concept that has obsessed philosophers and scientists for millennia. But what do we really know about the void? Get ready, because the answer will surprise you. For centuries, the void was conceived as a total absence of matter and energy. But quantum physics has changed everything. Today we know that the vacuum is not empty. It is not a blank and inert canvas. It is a teeming sea of energy, a seething cauldron where virtual particles are incessantly born and die in the blink of an eye. It is a place where the fundamental principles of physics reveal an unexpected reality. Welcome to the world of the quantum vacuum. If this journey through the deepest folds of reality intrigues you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. To understand the quantum vacuum, we need to take a small step back and introduce quantum field theory. In this theory, the particles we know as electrons, photons, or quarks are not small marbles moving in space. They are rather excitations, vibrations, or ripples of fields that permeate all space. Think of an ocean. Waves are the excitation of the water field. Similarly, an electron is an excitation of the electron field, and a photon, the particle of light, is an excitation of the electromagnetic field. These fields exist everywhere, at every point in space, even in what we perceive as empty. But here's the crucial point. Even in their lowest energy state, i.e., when there are no visible real particles, these fields are not perfectly static and flat. They constantly fluctuate. Imagine the surface of a perfectly calm lake. In reality, at a microscopic level, there are always small, even imperceptible, ripples. These are quantum fluctuations. And it is precisely from these fluctuations that the so-called virtual particles arise. This phenomenon is permitted by one of the most famous and counterintuitive principles of quantum mechanics, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This principle tells us that we cannot simultaneously know with absolute precision certain pairs of properties of a particle, such as its position and momentum, or its energy and the time for which that energy exists. The fundamental uncertainty intrinsic to nature allows a kind of energy loan from the universe. For very brief instance, nature allows the creation of a particle-antiparticle pair, drawing energy from the vacuum, provided that this energy is immediately returned with the annihilation of these virtual particles. It's like a small debt that is immediately paid off. These virtual particles appear and disappear so quickly that they cannot be directly observed, but their effects are absolutely real and measurable. Another direct consequence of these quantum fluctuations in the vacuum is zero-point energy. Even if we cooled a system to absolute zero, the vacuum would still possess a minimum and irreducible amount of energy. It is not thermal energy, but a fundamental energy due to the intrinsic oscillations of quantum fields. It's as if the vacuum itself were a huge energy generator, constantly active, at extremely small length scales, close to the so-called Planck length. It is hypothesized that these fluctuations become so intense that space-time itself takes on a foamy nature. This concept, known as quantum foam, suggests that at these infinitesimal scales, space-time is not smooth and continuous as we perceive it, but rather a seething chaos of bubbles and tunnels that appear and disappear. It's as if space-time itself were subject to continuous distortions and reconnections. Despite the elusive nature of virtual particles, their effects on the reality we live in have been measured with remarkable precision, providing solid experimental evidence of the existence of this vibrant energy. The most famous of these phenomena is the Casimir effect. Imagine two perfectly parallel metal plates placed at a very small distance from each other in the most extreme vacuum we can create. Intuitively, we would expect nothing to happen between them. Instead, a weak 
but measurable attractive force is observed that pushes them towards each other. Why? Vacuum fluctuations generate electromagnetic waves. Between the two plates, only wavelengths that fit into the narrow space between them can exist. Outside the plates, however, all possible wavelengths can exist. This creates greater pressure from the outside inwards, pushing the plates closer together. The Casimir effect is not a hypothesis, but an experimentally verified phenomenon, a tangible testament to the energy of the vacuum. Another fundamental proof is the Lamb shift, discovered by Willis Lamb in 1947. This effect concerns a small but measurable difference in the energy levels of the hydrogen atom that Dirac's theory could not explain. The electron in the hydrogen atom is not isolated, but constantly interacts with the virtual particles of the quantum vacuum. These interactions slightly perturb its energy levels, causing a small but precise shift. This effect, theoretically calculated and then experimentally confirmed with very high precision, was one of the first and strongest confirmations of quantum field theory and the existence of the vibrating vacuum. Finally, the spontaneous emission of light by atoms is also influenced by the quantum vacuum. When an electron in an atom is in an excited state, it would tend to remain there for some time. But the vacuum doesn't leave it alone. The fluctuations of the vacuum's electromagnetic field interact with the electron, stimulating it to move to a lower energy state, emitting a photon. Without these fluctuations, an excited atom would not spontaneously emit light, remaining indefinitely in its excited state. Therefore, even the light we see around us, the brightness of a light bulb or the color of a flower, ultimately depends on the incessant activity of the quantum vacuum. The implications of the quantum vacuum are not limited to the microscopic, but extend to the entire cosmos, redefining our understanding of the universe. One of the most spectacular consequences even concerns the origin and evolution of the universe. Some cosmological theories suggest that the quantum vacuum could have been the source of the energy that powered the Big Bang. In particular, the theory of cosmic inflation proposes that, immediately after the Big Bang, the universe underwent a phase of extremely rapid, exponential expansion. This inflation would have been driven by a scalar field, an inflaton whose potential energy, comparable to the energy of the vacuum, would have pushed space-time to expand at incredible speeds. The quantum fluctuations of this field would then have sown the small inhomogeneities from which galaxies and cosmic structures that we observe today were formed. Another cosmic mystery potentially linked to the vacuum is that of dark energy. Observation tells us that the expansion of the universe is accelerating, and dark energy is the name we give to this mysterious force that acts against gravity. A natural candidate for dark energy is precisely the energy of the vacuum, the cosmological constant. If the energy of the vacuum had a constant density in space-time, it would act as a repulsive force that pushes the universe to expand faster. However, theoretical calculations of vacuum energy are orders of magnitude higher than those observed experimentally. This is one of the biggest enigmas in modern physics and tells us that our understanding of the vacuum and gravity is not yet complete. The very nature of space-time, as mentioned before, is being questioned. If at microscopic scale space-time is a quantum foam, then it is not smooth and continuous as Einstein's general relativity describes it. It could be intrinsically granular, made of quanta of space and time. This has profound implications for gravity itself. Some theories suggest that gravity might not be a fundamental force, but an emergent phenomenon, a kind of pressure exerted by vacuum fluctuations at the microscopic level. Finally, future potential technological applications, although still speculative, are fascinating. The possibility of extracting energy from the vacuum, a concept known as zero-point energy, or manipulating the Casimir effect to create micro-devices, 
opens up science fiction scenarios. There is even talk of propulsion for spacecraft that would not require fuel. Although very far from current reality, the study of the quantum vacuum could one day reveal secrets that will revolutionize our technology. Beyond physics, the concept of the quantum vacuum has profound philosophical implications, forcing us to reconsider entrenched notions. Firstly, it challenges the very idea of something from nothing. If the vacuum is not an inert nothing, but a fullness of potential and fluctuations, then the idea that the universe could have emerged spontaneously from this fundamental state is no longer so absurd. This shifts the debate from how can something exist from nothing to how does our reality emerge from a vacuum that is already intrinsically rich in potential? Secondly, the indeterminate nature of the quantum vacuum and its fluctuations leads us to reflect on reality as a dynamic process rather than a static and predetermined state. Quantum indeterminacy, which is at the basis of the birth and death of virtual particles, introduces an element of freedom and unpredictability into the cosmos, suggesting that the future is not rigidly fixed but emerges from a fabric of probabilities. The quantum vacuum is not only a physical concept, but a powerful image of the probabilistic and dynamic nature of reality itself. In conclusion, the quantum vacuum is one of the most astonishing and fascinating discoveries of modern physics. Far from being a simple nothing, it is a sea of energy, a seething cauldron of activity, a place from which virtual particles emerge and disappear and from which the entire universe may have originated. Its fluctuations, although invisible to our eyes, manifest themselves in measurable phenomena such as the Casimir effect and the Lamb shift, confirming its undeniable existence and influence. Its implications extend from the birth of the cosmos, through the Big Bang and inflation, to the unresolved mystery of dark energy. It redefines our very perception of space-time, suggesting that at fundamental levels it may be granular and discontinuous. And, perhaps even more profoundly, it pushes us to reconsider the meaning of nothing and the very nature of reality, revealing it as a dynamic and indeterminate process. And the research continues. Physicists are working tirelessly to unify gravity with quantum mechanics, to fully understand the mystery of dark energy, and to uncover the deepest secrets of this seemingly empty vacuum. The questions remain open, and with them, the promise of even more revolutionary discoveries. If you found this journey into the quantum vacuum stimulating and want to know more about these fascinating topics, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and suggest other topics you would like us to explore together. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos. Thanks for watching.